Hi, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Minutia. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany, and today I am doing the 901 book tag, which was created by my friend Sandy, and this reads a lot. Sandy is reading through the 1001 books you must read before you die list, and she has completed 100 books. So she created this tag to commemorate the occasion that now there's 901 books left instead of 1001. So I was not tagged to do this video, but I don't care because it's super fun and I want to celebrate with Sandy. Let's dive into the questions. The first one is 901 books. Name as quickly as possible the last nine books you read from memory. Okay, so let's see. To Stay Alive. I can't remember who that is written by. It's a YA free verse novel about the Donner Party. And then um, The Office BFFs by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. What else have I read? Why does your brain go blank when you're like totally put on the spot? The House of the Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Price of Spring by Daniel Abraham. That's book four in the Long Price Quartet series. Oh my gosh, how much is that? That was ta da that's that's only four <laughs> what else have i read uh the devil in the white city by eric larson southern horrors by ida b wells rasslis by samuel johnson both of those were for the rating project gutenberg readathon little men by louise may alcott and one more we're gonna go with six crimson cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I don't know if that's right or not. And the next question is 901 memories. What were the actual nine books that you read? How close were you? So I have my laptop here and I have Goodreads pulled up. So let's see if we're right. I feel like I'm forgetting one I should have remembered. Okay, let's see how close I was. To Stay Alive, which is by Skeela Brown. Couldn't remember the author. <laughs> the House of the Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Price of Spring by Daniel Abraham. The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. I forgot about that because I read that with my daughter for school. So that wasn't really one that I was mentioning on my channel. Next is Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, but I DNF'd that. So I don't know if that counts. Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. The Office BFFs by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. Little Men by Louisa May Alcott. Wistress by Nadine Brandes and The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. Okay, so I was kind of close. I got a lot of these. I didn't have the one and only Ivan on there, which I should have because I really did finish that super recently. I'm not going to count Queen of the Tearling because I DNF'd it. I did not have Wistress or The Joy Luck Club in there. Instead, I kind of like skipped those two books and went farther back because The Devil in the White City, Southern Horrors, and Rasselas are all like the last three books before the Joy Luck Club. So I was pretty close. Next question is 901 favorites out of those last nine books. Which one was your favorite? So let me see. It's kind of tough. The Price of Spring was amazing. Such a good conclusion to the Long Price Quartet. Really pulled it all together. The only book in the series that I gave five stars to, but I also gave five stars to The Office BFFs because I love The Office so much and that whole book was such a joy. It made me so happy. I think I had a grin on my face the whole time I, I was going to say read it, but I really mostly listened to it on audio, but I did have the physical copy as well so I could look at the pictures that they shared, so it's kind of fun to have both, but I love The Office and I laughed so much listening to that book and it made me feel super nostalgic. So I would say it was probably one of those two. Okay, the next question is 901 pictures. Share the ninth non-bookish picture from your camera roll. So I am actually currently recording on my phone, so I will have the picture here. Isn't it great? Aren't you enjoying it? I wish I knew what it was. The next prompt is $901. What was the last book you purchased? So I'm not going to include gifts in this because I have bought 
some books for some people for Christmas recently and this is the last book that I bought for myself at a library book sale and I spent a whopping 25 cents on it and I actually bought it like a month ago so I guess I'm doing pretty good and not buying as many books for myself. But anyways, that book is Hester by Lori Legal Albanese. I actually heard Olive from a book, Olive, talking about this book and she didn't love it, but the way that she talked about it, I was so intrigued by it that when I saw it for 25 cents, I absolutely picked it up because I really wanna read it. So it is supposed to be kind of like a Scarlet Letter retelling. And I read the Scarlet Letter in high school and absolutely loved it so much and so I'm really really intrigued by this and I want to give it a try. The next prompt is 901 miles. What is the farthest you've ever traveled from home and have you ever read a book from that location? So I am someone that would like to travel far but I don't really travel outside of the country very much. And I'm not totally sure what is the absolute farthest I've traveled from home, but I am thinking that when I was 15, I went to the Bahamas. I actually went on a missions trip with like a group of teenagers from our, the churches in the area. And it was a really interesting experience because we definitely did like some resort and vacation style stuff like on our day off and stuff while we were there. But we also did like vacation Bible schools in parks for impoverished people. And I actually helped do a vacation Bible school in a juvenile detention center as well. It's really interesting because when you go to a country that's known to be a vacation destination, but you go there with the intent of it being like a missions trip or doing some sort of charitable or philanthropy type thing, you often see both sides of the coin. You see like the wealth and the opulence of these resorts and vacation places. And then you see how as soon as you travel outside of those, everything is like very, very impoverished. And so it's really eye opening to see both of those things. It was a very interesting and formative experience. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I have never read a book that is either set in the Bahamas or was written in the Bahamas. So that's really interesting. I should look that up and see if I can find anything. If you know of anything off the top of your head, feel free to leave it in the comments down below so I can check it out. The next prompt is 901 facts. Do you read nonfiction? And if so, what is one of your favorite nonfiction reads this year? So yes, I do read nonfiction. I've kind of been branching out a little bit more and reading more lately than I used to, which was one of my goals for this year. So I'm really happy that I have been kind of pushing myself in that direction. I've read a lot of different sub genres of nonfiction this year. I've read like some self-help ones. I've read some religious ones. I've read some memoirs. I've read some historical nonfiction. So I've kind of read a lot of kind of random things and it's hard to pick just one to share. So I'm gonna choose one actually that I'm currently reading but I'm really close to being done with and that's The Romanov Sisters by Helen Rappaport. This is obviously written about the Romanov family and I read Romanov by Nadine Brandes back in October and was just like really interested to actually read nonfiction accounts of them and their lives and I feel like this book is so well done. It's so riveting. It sucked me in immediately. The writing style is great and there is so much in there that she has pulled from their letters and their diaries so I feel like I really almost know them which is gonna make the ending that much more tragic because obviously we already know how that ends but yeah I am really enjoying it so much more than I ever thought I could enjoy historical nonfiction. The next question is 901 subscribers and this is a question for you in the comments and the question is what is one of your favorite books that you have read this year so please leave a comment down below telling me what one of your favorite books is that you've read and I always love chatting with you guys about books I usually come away with a lot of recommendations and my TBRs always grow but it's getting towards the end of the year so it's gonna be that much more fun to hear what one of your favorite books was because you have the perspective of all the books that you've read this year. And the last question is 901 friends, tag some friends to do this tag. So I am going to tag 
Holly from Lovely Day at Holly, my friend Dia from Novel Idea, who may have actually already done this tag. I'm trying to remember. If you've already been tagged, Dia, I'm sorry. And I'm also going to tag Courtney from Courtney Reads. Hopefully none of you have done this tag, but if you have, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments if you have because I need to go watch your videos if you've already posted them. And also for anyone who's watching, feel free to answer any of these questions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and also subscribe so you can continue to see more bookish content from me and I will see you again next time.